Hey guys, we're John and Lavina Arcara, second generation photographers teaching our daughters to be third generation photographers. Please follow our family's search for life, cameras, and the pursuit of photography. This is Our Camera Life. We're gonna try this again, guys. So, hello, good afternoon. Today, we have a real treat as Molly and Lily have decided to invite a bunch of their friends over to do karaoke and paint nails and do all kinds of fun like that. So, if you hear them singing Beauty and the Beast in the background, please leave them some thumbs up and give them some props for that. Um, today's Martin Luther King Day, and I thought I would start it off by discussing uh, one of my very favorite photographers, Eli Reed. Eli Reed, um, I became acquainted with Eli Reed and his work uh, while working at a camera store in downtown Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Um, Eli would come into Fishkin Brothers, um, which was founded in like 1906 or some crazy, it was over a hundred years old, um, this camera store. And he would, uh, he would purchase, you know, film cameras, he actually purchased his first real camera there, um, which started him off on his journey uh, in photography. Um, and on my last day there, when I was working at Fishkin Brothers, he came in and was thoughtful enough to give me a copy and sign his book, Black in America, for me. Um, so he, uh, super cool. Um, so he's, he autographed it to me and he wrote, Dear John, you're leaving the place that in a way that I started uh, at by buying my first real camera here. I hope you have the same kind of luck I had professionally. Live long and prosper. Eli Reed, September 5th, 2000. So this is an exciting moment for me. Um, First of all, because I am a Magnum photography fanboy. So, I mean, obviously Magnum is one of the most prestigious agencies in the world. And um, so many of my favorite photographers come out of it, including Eli Reed, Henri Cartier-Bresson, Robert Capa, Gerda Taro. They're all phenomenal. And I put Eli Reed right in there with them. So Eli Reed was born in 1946 in Texas and was raised in the South. Um, growing up, he was exposed to the racial segregation and discrimination that was prevalent uh, in the region during that time. This experience had a profound impact on Eli and he would later shape his work as a documentarian and a photographer um, and a filmmaker. Um, he began his career at Black Star in the 1970s, huge agency. Um, one of the leading photo, agency, photo agencies in the world at the time. Uh, he covered a wide range of subjects, including politics, social issues, um, everyday life in the Amer African American community. His early work focused on civil rights movement, um, the struggles of the African American community in the South. And then in 1983, rejoined the Magnum Photos Agency which is, as I said, one of the most prestigious and influential photography agencies in the world. He continued to work as a documentary photographer covering um, political, social issues um, in the United States, uh, Africa. Um, so Magnum is a uh, photographic cooperative that was founded in 1947 by some of the most renowned photographers at the time, including Henri Cartier-Bresson, uh, Robert Capa, and others, um, David Chin. Um, so joining Magnum uh, is considered a significant achievement for a photographer, um, as the agency is known for representing some of the most talented photographers in the world. Boba Fett, always have to have Boba Fett with you to protect you and disintegrate anyone that you need to be disintegrated, so. So, as a member of Magnum, Reed was able to further his career and gain wider recognition for his work. Um, 
So Reed's work with Magnum Photos also allowed him to cover many important stories and events such as the Civil Rights Movement, Vietnam War, uh, the Gulf War, um, and the Liberian Civil War. Um, he was able to document political and social issues of the time and his photographs were widely published in magazines, newspapers, books. Eli Reed attended the Million Man March and uh, about these images he said, they came by airplane, bus, train, car, and foot. It was a call to the world at large that action had to be made to make our shared world a better place. They came to heal the negativity that continues to separate us. Reed's association with Magnum Photos also helped him to become and establish himself as one of the most respected documentary photographers um, of his generation. Black in America is a book of photographs by Eli Reed that documents the African American experience in the United States. It's a collection of photographs that were taken between 1977 and 1980 during the civil rights movement and the aftermath of it. The book covers a range of subjects from Black Panthers, gospel music, civil rights movement, to everyday life in the Black community. Um, it's considered a powerful document of a pivotal time in American history. Reed's photographs capture the spirit of the civil rights movement and the struggles of the African American community during this time. The book also features images of people and events that were not widely covered by the name mainstream media, providing a unique perspective on the civil rights movement and the African American experience. One of the most striking features of the book is Reed's ability to capture the humanity of his subjects. His photographs are often intimate and personal, depicting the struggles, hopes, and dreams of the people that he photographs. Through his work, Reed gives voice to the marginalized and often forgotten members of society, and his photographs are a powerful testament to the resilience and strength of the African-American community. I love this portrait of Lawrence Fishburne, Ice Cube, and John Singleton that he shot, and it really just portrays exactly the importance of these three gentlemen. I was a huge Ice Cube fan, even back then, and of course, Lawrence Fishburne is one of the greatest actors who ever lived, so this is really a cool portrait of them. It just stands out for me in one of my favorite images that Eli has done. This image of the groom with his ring bearer when he's looking over, you know, his vows or whatever that is that he has in his hands. This is super cool because from what Eli Reed had said, this gentleman was arrested for robbery, but he was wrongfully arrested. And it's sad because this is a gentleman who was an engineer and he was at the location for a meeting and people even said that he was there for a meeting, but they arrested him and um, he actually wound up, found him innocent later and was released. But Eli was there to photograph his wedding and I think that these are some beautiful, beautiful wedding photographs. Being a wedding photographer myself, these are, these are so inspirational to me. Eli Reed said that his parents were poor but rich in spirit and I can tell you this man is definitely rich in spirit. I'm going to end with a quote from the great Gordon Parks as he wrote in the foreword um, for Black in America and he said for a long time I've held the belief usually a truly fine photojournalist is a fine human being. Eli Reed's outstanding work and his concern for humanity strengthens that belief. Um, I hope you enjoyed our video on Eli Reed. He is an inspiration to me. His composition, his subject matter, and his emotion and humanity in his photographs are just some fantastically amazing, um, just, just, a, just an amazing document to American history. And um, I'm really proud and inspired uh, by this. Um, so thanks so much. Um, please like and subscribe. We always love to hear from you. So please uh, mention if you would like us to do more videos like this in the, uh, in the comments. Um, I don't know what they're singing, but it is pretty funny. <laughs> All right, guys.
Cheers, have a beer, and um, we'll see you on the flip side. Ciao.